Okay, fantastic. So good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us for our May Career Connections. My name is Brent Jan Gregorio, and I'll be your host today. We're very excited to partner with State College of Florida and Bank of America for today's webinar. We'll explore industry certifications for the modern workforce, specifically the Microsoft Power Platform Certification Program at SCF, and we'll hear from Bank of America on how they support programs and organizations in the community to elevate women in the workforce. Before we get started, just a few housekeeping items. Uh, today's session is being recorded um, and will be available on our YouTube channel within about 48 hours. As well, we'll send a link to the recording along with the presentations to everyone who registered for today's session. Because this is a webinar, all lines are muted, uh, but you can ask questions using the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen. As we move through the presentations, feel free to type your questions in that Q&A box and we'll leave about 10 minutes at the end of the session for questions. Okay, so our agenda and speakers today, uh, we're going to hear from Desh, ba Desh Bagley, Director of IT and Coding, uh, of, Director of IT and the Coding Academy at State College of Florida, Manatee, Sarasota. We're also going to hear from Jamie Kahn, Senior Vice President, Market Executive at Bank of America. And then, as I mentioned, we'll move right into our Q&A after we hear from each of them. And then at the very end, if everyone could stay on for one extra minute for a survey that will pop up on your screen, we would really appreciate it. Your feedback is really important as we use these surveys to help us with future webinars and programming. Uh, before I turn it over to our presenters, I just want to take a few minutes and tell everyone a little bit about the Women's Resource Center. So the Women's Resource Center has been empowering women in Sarasota and Manatee County since 1979. We have three centers across both counties, one in Bradenton, one in Sarasota, and another in Venice. Uh, we serve over 1,700 clients annually and deliver over 5,000 5, hours of programming. So our goal at the Women's Resource Center is to engage, educate, enrich, and empower women of all generations. We really like to think of our place um, as a place that where any woman can call us when they're not sure where to turn to for help. Um, to do that, we offer our clients resource advising, mental health counseling, career services, um, educational workshops and scholarships. We've got legal and financial consultations, um, as well as wellness programs. All of this is offered at a low or no cost to our clients. Since this webinar is about careers, I'll talk a little bit more about our career services. Our career coaching programs offer individual assistance in preparing for successful job search. So clients will meet individually with a trained career coach, and that can be on topics such as career discovery, resume preparation, interviewing skills, networking techniques, and much more. Additionally, we have a career center at each of our locations where clients can come in, conduct online job searches, uh, work on job applications, get help with their resumes. Um, as well, we offer one-on-one -on -one computer tutoring. So that will help clients with navigating job sites, um, uploading their resumes, and also help with computer basic and Microsoft Office, Office applications. Additionally, we have two career closets, one in Bradenton and one in Sarasota, where we have free clothing and accessories for women who are attending job interviews or have just secured a job and need a work attire. I should note, we also serve clients that may need clothing for any reason. It doesn't have to be related to a job. And our career closets are open uh, Monday through Thursday from 11 to 3. And again, that's both in Sarasota and our Bradenton office. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we really like to hear from you. So if you'd like to ask a question for the panelists, please click on the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen, type your questions in there, we'll get to them at the end. And then as well, reminder, the Career Connections this webinar is recorded, so you can watch the replay in case you missed any information. We'll also send out the replay um, in about 24 to 48 hours to everyone who registered, and we'll include flyers, presentations, and any other materials uh, from our presenters today.
And one last plug, we really want to hear from you. So when the webinar ends, if you'll just stay on extra minute for a survey that will pop up on your screen, uh, we really, really appreciate it. So thank you so much for attending today. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing here. And I'm going to turn it over to Daesh with SCF. Thank you, Brent. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm Daesh Bagley, Director of the IT Coding Academy at State College of Florida within the Lifelong Learning and Workforce Development Department. I am going to attempt to share my screen, y'all. And as I'm uh, hoping to share my screen, I'm going to give you a few caveats. Number one, this PowerPoint has like a million fonts. I don't know exactly what I was thinking when I started, but it, it has quite a few fonts. Okay, so Brent, you'll have to tell me which screen I'm sharing. Am I sharing the one that's nice and big or the one with my notes on it? You are sharing your notes. All right, and how about now? There you go, you're all set now. Nice. All right. So the first caveat is you guys are going to see a lot of fonts and I hope they're not too distracting. The second caveat is that I'm in an office where the lights go off automatically. So you guys might see me in the dark. You may see me raising the roof. I promise you I'm still professional. I'm just trying to get those lights to turn back on. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on my job now for a year and four months and my very first experience as the IT Coding Academy Director was with the Women's Resource Center. I met a wonderful lady named Lori Gentile, and she told me about all of the amazing services that the Women's Resource Center has to offer. And I thought to myself, I want to be a part of that. How can I use what I'm doing at State College of Florida to help all of our amazing women in the community? So for this particular, um, for this particular workshop, our foundation wrote a grant we wrote a grant uh, through Bank of America with the goal of helping women start their career paths. Now, when Bank of America announced to us that we had won that grant, you guys, you should have seen us on Zoom. We were all excited. We were totally, totally ecstatic. It was a surprise. It was a surprise when they did it, right? We didn't know it was coming. So our executive director of the foundation, Cassandra Holmes, was on the line, as well as my boss, a few others. And it was so much fun. Our program that was awarded the certification is for Microsoft Power Platform. Now, some of you might be thinking, Microsoft, right? Why wouldn't we be getting an Office certification? Why wouldn't we get Microsoft Word or Excel or PowerPoint? What is this thing called Microsoft Power Platform? And I'm gonna explain all of that in a, in a moment, but what I want you to think about is at the Coding Academy, at State College of Florida, we want to enhance your skills in a way so that you're prepared, not just for jobs of today, but jobs of tomorrow. And in addition, we want to help you really find out what you're passionate about. Like, So you take a Microsoft Word certification, that's great, right? And you take PowerPoint, that's okay too. The Microsoft Power Platform certification allows you to see various skills and careers within the information technology department. So the grant that we wrote said that we would offer a 72 hour program. Now this program can be completed in six weeks, this program can be completed in three weeks. You can complete the program online from home, or you can complete the program right here in the Coding Academy within the 26 West building on the Bradenton campus. Um, it's a very flexible program, and it has lots of training for a variety of, of skill sets, for a variety of learning styles. So no matter where you are, I feel confident that we can get you to the place where you're prepared to take the Microsoft um, Power Platform Fundamentals Certification. Uh, it's a one-time $50 registration fee, and at the end of the course, after you've taken your certification, not after you've passed your certification, but after you've taken your certification, thanks to Bank of America, women who participate and complete the program get to keep the laptops that the grant sponsored. 
And we're very thankful for that. So let's talk a little bit about Microsoft Power Platform. What is it? Why does it matter? And, and, and what's the big deal? The Power Platform consists of four different applications. And the fundamental certification that you're going to be earning really just gives you a, a surface level indication of what those four programs are. The first program is called Power BI. It enables the user to look at data and analyze data from a visual perspective. So think about Microsoft Excel and how we're able to make the charts and the pie graphs and all those good things in Excel. Power BI is a little bit easier and it's just, uh, it gives us a better definition of the data that we're looking at. We can make dashboards, we can, we can make all sorts of visualization tools to help either small business owners or help ourselves or help our supervisors understand what the data means that they're receiving. The second application is called Power Apps. Power Apps have to do with software development. And I have a computer science degree and I understand sometimes, you know, we say software development, that could be a little intimidating. This particular way of making an app is called low code, no code, meaning that you don't necessarily have to know a programming language to make the app. There are various uh, pathways and flows that we build in order to get the app to work the way we want it to. So Power BI is data analytics. Power Apps is software development. And remember, it's fundamentals. We're just inching into it to find out a little bit more about what it's all about. So I told y'all I would be raising the roof, right? I, I, wasn't, I wasn't joking. <laughs> the third application is called Power Automate. You've all seen emails come through and then you get the email, you have to respond to the email. You know the email is about a certain topic. Why can't the system simply respond to the customer on its own? Why can't it use artificial intelligence? Well, actually Power Automate does allow artificial intelligence, right? Someone fills out a form. I'll use this example. Someone fills out a form. The first thing I have to do is download all of the responses from the form. Then I have to upload those responses into Excel. And then I have to make a graph or a chart to see what the data is really showing me. And then finally, I probably have to email some people on that list in order to let them know I've gotten their form and here are the next steps. I do that every single day in my job. I will be right there with you guys learning Power Automate because all of those tasks can be automated within Power uh, Platform, Microsoft Power Platform. And then the final part that you're going to learn is Power Virtual Agents. Virtual agents are simply chat boxes. You know, when you go to a website and there's a little box that pops up and it says, how can I help you today? Or type your question here and we'll answer it. It's another simple way of using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Now I'm using all of these words, right? Machine learning and artificial intelligence and chat bots. And you're thinking to yourself, oh, Daesh Bagley, I might be in the wrong webinar. But you're not. You're absolutely not in the wrong webinar. You're probably feeling like I feel when somebody with a quick cut machine tells me they're going to do some burnishing or when my neighbor tells me she's a gardener and she's going to work with her annuals and her perennials and her biennials or something. She said, I don't know. Right. Every every hobby has its own terminology and its own vocabulary. And what we're going to introduce you to within our 72 hour course is the vocabulary. We're going to learn it. We're going to use it and then we're going to test on it. And we're going to do that over and over again until we feel confident with what we're learning. Um, I don't want you to think that you're going to leave this workshop as an expert, right? That's not the goal of this particular certification. The goal of this certification is to help you explore careers, right? Are you a software developer? Did you really like building, building the power apps? Are you um, a, a data analyst? Did you find the most fun with Power BI when you got a chance to look at the data and put it into various uh, visual tools? Are you a cloud architect? Were you just happy to have the data sitting in the cloud, nice and safe, and you know how to access it, you know how to use it, 
cloud architecture. Uh, and then finally, are you interested in artificial intelligence and machine learning? Something you never ever thought you possibly could be interested in, but here you are actually making your own virtual agent. You just never know, right? You never know what's out there for you. And this particular workshop allows you to explore informally, no pressure, either from the comfort of your own home or the library or with me here at the Coding Academy at your own schedule. So how does it work? How do we go about doing the training? The first part is self-guided learning, and this comes directly from Microsoft. There's uh, lots of reading, there's videos, and then there's a, a nice little knowledge check. And all of the various modules, there are 10 modules, they're all right there on the Microsoft site. If you absolutely are a self-starter and you're saying to yourself, $50, Keep your $50, Stage Bagley. I got a laptop. I could do this. Then by all means, go for it. I think it's doable for everybody. But if you appreciate a little support, somebody to be right there alongside you, answering questions and helping you along the way, that's what the Coding Academy does. That's what we do for our boot camp students, our cybersecurity students, um, our summer camp students, anybody going for industry certification. Our role is to provide that extra support to let you know you can do it. There are tons of great videos. There are videos for every module. So if you're the type of person that enjoys actually hearing the information and seeing it as well as reading it, then the videos come in handy. And then finally, there are knowledge checks. After every single, um, after every single module, you're gonna check your knowledge and you're gonna have some interactive exercises. So this is the way it's going to work. In my mind, it's three weeks, you guys. It's a, it's a three week, opportunity where you commit to putting in eight hours a day, three days a week. Eight hours a day, three days a week for three weeks. And within that time period, I feel confident that you're ready to take your Microsoft Power Platforms Fundamentals Certification Exam. So our uh, website looks like this, and you guys are going to get this uh, this deck, this PowerPoint deck. You'll you'll get it, and you're going to click the link, and it just takes you to our website. And then after you go to the website, when you're ready to pay your fifty dollars to enroll, we only have twenty seats. I feel confident that I can support twenty um, highly motivated, um, self driving women in this course. So we have 20 seats. You're going to come to a website that looks like this. You're going to have to log in at the very top. There's a login button. You're going to log in. And after you've logged in or created your account, then you're going to add to cart. It's right down here in the very bottom corner of the web page. It says add to cart. Once you add this particular class to your cart, um, it's going to ask you for the $50. If that $50 is a struggle, if you're like, Daisha, I'm ready. I can do this. I want to be in the class. I just don't have the $50 right now. Do not let money be a hindrance to you. Um, for me, the biggest commodity is time. If you have the time and the go getter attitude and the I want to learn because I'm ready to improve my situation, that's the person I want. $50, yes, it's nice. It helps cover some of our costs, but I don't want that to be a barrier to any of our participants. I, you see here the start date is July 12th. So we're going to start the week after July 4th. I'm not going to interrupt your July 4th holiday. You're welcome. We're going to start the week after. And if we follow the three-week period, if we follow the three-week period of eight hours a day, three days a week, for three weeks, then we finish on July 28th. Do you have to finish on July 28th? No, you don't. But if we follow that timeline, we will. We want to finish within six weeks. Within six weeks, we want to all have taken our tests, completed our certification. And from there, I'm going to gather some data, right? I'm going to gather data on how well did we do? What did we study that we should have studied more? What did we really ace? That was fantastic. And we're going to use that data to make the next class better for the next cohort. And of course, you get to keep your laptop. There's a laptop in it for you, thanks to Bank of America. My name is Stace Bagley. I'm the director of State College of Florida's IT Coding Academy. I love my job. If I can do it, you can do it too. Come be with me.
I'm going to turn it over now. I'm going to stop sharing and turn it over to Jamie Cons with Bank of America. Awesome. Thank you so much, Sage. And I'm glad I was off camera because I was totally blushing uh, with all the kudos and shout out. It's really our honor to partner with you. Again, I'm Jamie Kahn's Market Executive for Bank of America in Sarasota, Manatee. And I have the honor to work with our local Bank of America leaders and we work on a strategic plan on how we'll best deliver to our clients of the full capability of our bank. And we deliver for our employees, making sure that Bank of America is the best place to work. And then of course, we deliver for our community to make it the best place to live. And we're committed to connecting individuals to jobs to move our local economic um, economy forward. And our philanthropic partnerships, like the one that Faith just mentioned, they build on our longstanding focus on workforce development. They include alternative pathways, youth employment, helping those with barriers to employment obtain second chances. And our efforts also include how we personally at Bank of America hire, recruit, and re retain our employees at Bank of America. And locally um, today, currently, we have about 30 job openings. Uh, we have a parallel benefits, minimum starting wage of $21 an hour. We have great starting positions, um, bachelor degrees, not a requirement. We have on-the-job paid training. And we uh, invite you to consider a career at Bank of America. And a credential like the one that, that Dave just said, I mean, absolutely, but bring it on. We'd love to see the credentials like that and certificates. Uh, please visit our career openings at career.bankofamerica.com online. That will also be sent out after the call today. We connect undeserved groups, and we focus on those from low and moderate income communities to help with the skills, resources, and experiences that they all need to succeed. We partner with nonprofits, and uh, we help reach youth, um, help their full potential in employment with early employment experience. We help young adults uh, with those with the barriers to employment connect with the different work opportunities. Again, like the one they've said and a lot of the ones that State College of Florida has to offer. Inside Bank of America, we promote people's career paths and many professional development and engagement practices. It's about connecting people to the meaningful employment requirements. It's about public-private partnerships and collective expertise to prepare individuals and jobs that exist here in our community today. And together we build the stronger pipeline of diverse talent and fuel the local economic growth, all of which contribute to the success of our customers and the community that we serve. And Bank of America has many partners in Sarasota Manatee that I'm super proud of, working to connect individuals to discover their passion, realize their potential and see opportunities um, that maybe they didn't think that they had before, really with a goal of getting them on a career path that will have high earning potential. And just this year, Bank of America has already been super proud. We funded over $250,000 here local to different nonprofits supporting efforts in their workforce development and education space. Of course, some of these partners did include Women's Resource Center at State College of Florida today. Uh, thank you for all your amazing work. Uh, we've also funded this year Boys and Girls Clubs of Manatee and Sarasota, the Education Foundations in Manatee and Sarasota, just for Girls and Vanity, Take Stock in Children of Sarasota, Children's First, and Career Edge. Something I'm very proud about, uh, besides the great program that Dave talked about and that partnership to get your free laptop and a great credential, we have um, a great partnership that Bank of America supported with Career Edge and the Education Foundation's Planet Sarasota and Reach Manatee Initiatives that created the Where Are the Jobs brochure. And there's a huge stigma on the need for everyone to have that four-year college degree. And, and definitely while the four-year college degree can aid towards helping one land a great career, a four-year college degree is definitely not the right career path for everyone. And there are these high-demand jobs paying great money right here in our community that require different skill sets and a different educational requirements. I'm gonna go ahead and try to share my screen uh, so that we can take a peek at the um, the where are the jobs brochure together. I think I'm sharing the correct screen. All right, so where are the jobs? If you haven't seen this, it needs to be in your hands. I wish I had this uh, personally uh, when I was in high school and or, or didn't know where I was going as far as the jobs. It talks about choose your college career path and what's right for you. 
So there's technical certificates. It's not just four years. It can be just the right six weeks they just talked about to be able to get a really great certificate and have the opportunity uh, to be able to go ahead and get a job. There's employers looking for certain skills right now. Um, and what, what does that in-demand skill, what does that in-demand job really mean? The next page, I, I do love it. And very much like the page that Dave just showed too, what jobs are out there in our community right now? What is that average wage? And what is the skill that's needed? And, and all these crews have great advancement opportunities. And, and a lot of them, like um, even in Bank of America, where you don't need to have that financial background coming straight in, that you can start working for a company and they'll be willing to pay for, uh, for your degree. So lots of great opportunities uh, from technical certificates. Um, you can see two to 18 months right here, associate degrees. Uh, they do also show the four-year degrees and the advanced degrees. Um, my favorite part of this is, is about the next steps, finding that educational path that's right for you. There's career assessments, personal and personality assessments to see what maybe you're interested in, what you're good at, what your skills are. And also really emphasizing that it is affordable. Education, college, right? Daisha just said, don't let the $50 be the barrier. Uh, there is help out there. There is free credentialing, free opportunities, scholarships. Um, that education foundations put together these great FAFSA programs. What's that? That's the federal application, federal student aid. There's so much free money that's left on the table year after year that uh, people don't either realize or think it's too hard to have access to, but this is a great, great brochure. Uh, again, we will email this out um, afterwards. It is online. Uh, Bank of America, again, is very proud to partner with these organizations, Pure Edge, Planet, Santa, Sarasota, and Reach Manatee, and we actually paid for the printing of this brochure. So if you do want copies of it, uh, I believe we still have copies and can get those out to you, absolutely. I'll go ahead and um, stop sharing my screen there, but um, again, we can get you the brochure if you're interested. It is, uh, again, a tool I wish that I had previously. At Bank of America, our purpose really is to help make financial lives better through the power of every connection. And one way we work to do that is we, we teach financial education. We have a complimentary uh, financial online tool called Better Money Habits. Our Better Money Habits helps make people um, make sense of their money. We have a great partnership with Women's Resource Center. We do an Ask a Banker series with our Better Money Habits once a month. And it's basically taking action to improve your financial lives. Uh, it's free, easy to understand. There's uh, tools and resources all available online. We have individuals and families, you know, we make financial decisions nearly every day and, and navigating them, unfortunately, can be quite stressful. And that's why Better Money Habits Financial Education Platform is a one-stop shop for resources that help build that know-how around things like budgeting and savings, home ownership and retirement, and they're designed for the way that people want to learn today. And Better Money Habits lays out the facts um, really so that people can decide to make sense of their own situation, of their own financial situation that they're currently in. And they use understandable terms, relatable examples, um, fun, easy to watch videos, and it connects this information to, the, to people's individual goals and situations so that they can easily be accessible um, and when and where it's needed at any time you're about to make a financial decision. And then through Better Money Habits, we support people really to become more uh, financially resilient by connecting them the tools, the resources, and the education that they need to help achieve their financial goals. I'm really proud to say Better Money Habits is in fully both in English and in Spanish. Uh, it is also mobile friendly. It's not an app, but we, you can save the website uh, to the tool. Um, but right now, actually right now, I invite you all, if you have your smartphone, please you know, take out your smartphone, open your browser, and you can go ahead and type in bettermoneyhabits.com. I am going to go ahead and uh, try to share my screen again. And I'm going to walk you guys through this. Uh, just to take a little sneak peek, I won't do a full educational um, uh, class today, but I will go ahead and, and share. All right, so you should be seeing bettermoneyhabits.com if you type it in again. And uh, feel free to follow along with me on your smartphone or your browser. Um, at the top here, um, if you ever click out and you want to get back to the main page, click on the Better Money Habits right up here at the top left. And over to the right, if you do want to go to the Spanish version, over to the top right in Espanol uh, over here, you can click right on there. And one feedback that we get, there's finances, it's so overwhelming. There's so many things. So my advice when you're ready to, 
to take the next step and, and to learn a, bit, a little bit more of how you can uh, take hold of your finances uh, is, is do one thing at a time. So whether it's, you know, you want to build up your credit, understand more about credit, get out of debt or build your savings. Those are definitely the top three that, that we teach here at Bank of America. Um, I want to teach you the way I like to use the site. And up here at the top, you see my priorities. So if you're following along, please go ahead and click on my priorities. And it'll take you basically through a survey to help answer um, the questions best for you. Now I use this all the time. So I have to go in and, and click adjust my answers, which you can do at any point. Know that the more you put in here, uh, the more uh, you will get on the back end as far as the education. So sometimes I say less is more and go back and try to think of one thing at a time. So it'll ask you, what are the stages of life you're in? Are you just starting out? Are you working and growing? Are you near retirement? Um, for right now, let's just say we're just starting out when you were a student. And it'll ask us to tell you a little bit about yourself, right? So if I just said student, maybe we're working full-time, maybe we're working part-time, uh, active in the military, whatever it may be, click on what makes sense for you. And then you click continue. Which of these areas are most important? I picked the top three that I just talked about, right? Building savings, reducing debt, and improving credit. Um, but please click on what makes the most sense for you. Again, less is more, I'm, I'm clicking three. And which of these are relevant to you? Uh, there's different situations, and obviously there's a lot of uh, situations, whether you're buying a car, moving, renting, starting a new job. For today's purposes, I'm gonna skip this question. And then lastly, what's in, uh, relevant to you? Well, we're talking about jobs, so let's talk about learning a new skill. Obviously, there's other options here. <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click to see my results. See what comes up here. Okay, so um, whatever is highlighted at the top, so finances, family, and work is highlighted at the top. So those are the answers that you get from the survey that you took. Uh, health, home, leisure, and giving did not pop up based on the answers that we put in. Um, there are different articles, there's infographs, there's videos that you can learn and teach. Um, how I like to teach, and it really is talking about every day you make those financial decisions. Going to Starbucks is a financial decision. Really, it is about uh, taking every every day and, and simplifying the things, whether it's income in, spend. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to watch the whole video, but I do want to share one of the videos just to show you how uh, user friendly and, and fun they are to watch, and they're all very short. This one's about credit rating. Building credit and keeping yours healthy. Your credit score is a big part of your financial identity. It can be the most important factor in determining whether you can get a loan and how much it'll cost you. Your credit score is a number, the most common being known as a FICO score, that helps evaluate how much of a risk it is to lend you money. It simply shows how responsible or irresponsible you are with your finances. When it's good, it can help you get access to lower rates, which enables you to borrow for both short-term emergencies and longer-term, bigger-ticket items. That's why falling behind on your mortgage payments, car loans, or credit card bills is not a wise move. In fact, it may damage your future ability to borrow money. I won't show the whole video, but again, uh, lots. this one actually is a longer one, uh, almost uh, five minutes there, four, four minutes and 44 seconds. But um, anytime you want to go back, you can click up the top here, My Priorities. It's a great tool. Uh, we do use it for high school uh, adults and on. And um, one other thing I'd like to show you, um, we have a great train the train program at Bank of America. You know, we do have the ability to do, teach classes, individual classes, uh, but for other nonprofits and organizations and partnerships, if you're looking for a financial education tool, all the way at the bottom, there's an education resource center that you can click on. And it provides you uh, all complementary tools um, that, you can use, there's economic basics, there's uh, ones for high school, college students. Uh, we have stuff for military families, um, disabled individuals. And basically it puts together these learning and training decks, which I'm gonna try to share one now. I'll stop sharing in a moment. Um, this one's economic mobility basics. Share it, I think this is. All right, and there is a facilitator guide for each of these. Uh, we can train you. Uh, the only thing that we ask is to make sure you don't change anything in the deck, uh, but there is a facilitator guide with individual. This one's economic mobility basics. It talks about how to manage debt, banking basics, 
emergency fund cover how to budget. Um, it has the video links right inside of it. And there are different things. My favorite in here is the actual using, um, the using spending sheet. I'm gonna see, I, hopefully it just blew up bigger there for you guys, I'm not sure. I think it does. I only see myself on here. So the spending plan worksheet, one thing I want to call out, when we think about what this tool is, better money habits, like any other habit, whether it's uh, becoming healthy, wanting to lose weight, or to pick a bad habit like smoking, something a habit is, is it's something you need to look at every day and writing down your goals, knowing you know what money is going out, what money is coming in. Uh, that's one of the biggest things we can teach for better money habits. I can stop sharing my screen. Uh, but again, um, Better Money Habits, um, it's available for us to uh, teach, do a train the trainer session. If it's an organization that they are looking for a financial education tool, whether it's for their, for their clients or for their employees, um, bettermoneyhabits.com is definitely near and dear to my heart and use it personally for my family. And uh, it just, just being able to talk about finances a little bit differently and try to, to work towards the goals um, if you would like any uh, more information about Better Money Habits or any workforce development education initiatives at Bank of America Funds, uh, I offer you, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I know uh, Brent will be sending out uh, my email information, jamie.cons at Bank of America, and, and also you can find me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Jamie Cons. I'm extremely proud of the work that my teammates and I are doing at Bank of America, working every day to give back to our local community. And we do live in this incredible community with great collaborative partners, and there's endless opportunities available in the workforce development and education space. I'm honored to have the opportunity to speak with you today again in partnership with amazing partners and the incredible work that Women's Resource Center and State College of Florida does. And if I were to leave you today with just three takeaways of everything that I said, again, it's write all your goals down, including your financial goals, and visit them daily. And with May being uh, Mental Health Awareness Month, I say know that there is hope even when your brain may tell you that there isn't. And lastly, believe in yourself. It's the first secret to success. Thanks again for having me. Brent, I toss it back to you um, and open it up to questions for, for Deja and I. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. Um, and thank you, Daesh. Uh, fantastic presentations and content. Um, so glad both of you have been able to join us today um, and share all of these great resources and information with everyone who's attending. Um, so we're going to kick it over to Q&A here. Um, so we have a number of questions. Um, I'm going to start with you, Daesh. Um, we have a number of questions around scheduling, right? And I know you touched on it at the beginning, maybe everyone didn't get it, but if you can maybe talk a little bit about, you know, how this can be, you know, done in person, online, at home, there's questions, you know, a lot of the attendees work full time, um, our mothers full time, so they need something that's sort of flexible. If you can talk about the flexibility of maybe this course. Absolutely. Great, great questions. So the class is what we call hybrid, meaning the instructor will be in a Zoom session like this, as well as sitting in the classroom. So anybody that wants to hop in Zoom Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. So I know people work they, they work during the day, they work full time. And I understand that eight to four may not fit your schedule right at this moment. We get that. But that's when the professor will be physically here in the classroom and physically in Zoom. You can take the course self-paced at midnight or two in the morning, right? I remember I have five young adults now, but at the time they were five little ones and they would go to bed at 9 p.m. and I would be up until 3 a.m. working toward my computer science degree. Well, I guess it was three little ones at the time when I was working on the computer science degree. But then I started a business and I had to write a business plan so that I can get an SBA loan. And I got my SBA loan, but that business plan was written about 2 a.m. <laughs> each night. And so there are times when you sacrifice a little bit of sleep, 
you sacrifice a little bit of sanity <laughs> just to try to, to reach your goals. So it's definitely flexible, you guys. You can do it at your own pace, but I will reiterate what, ja what, um, what Jamie said. You're gonna wanna write down your schedule. And when you sign up for the course, I'm gonna ask you for your schedule. And then I'll text you and say, how are you doing with your schedule? And how are things going? And I'll be able to look at your progress to see if you're making adequate progress. And if you're not making adequate progress, then we'll talk again about how we can get back on track because that's what we do here at the Coding Academy. So number one, it's flexibility on our part. On your part, it's persistence and dedication and hard work. Number two, it's a, a low investment of income of $50, but on your part, it's you telling us if the $50 is just a bridge too far so that we can work toward that. And then number three, it's all of us really working hard to support one another to go for this industry certification um, that proves that IT could be a career for you, right? It doesn't necessarily make you ready for the IT career just right now, but it definitely shows that you have the capabilities and the confidence and the competence to get it done. So flexibility is the key, Brent. Awesome. Thank you. So to answer a lot of those questions, yes, you can take it online. You can do it in person. If you want to meet with the professors, keep in mind that's going to be, you know, those, those daytime hours, but there is flexibility there. If you work full time, if you have kids, um, you can kind of go at your own pace um, and accomplish this. So thank you, Daesh. Um, another question, Daesh, um, maybe can you talk about, someone asked if this could help them in the medical field. And so maybe the talk, uh, like sort of the certification and the tools that you learn are not just for an IT individual, but can span across industries and different careers. Is that correct? I agree. I definitely agree. I mean, even when I think about all the data that's out there, you guys remember all the COVID data we were getting at one point in time, which county, which city, right? Yeah. And so we have people in the medical professions really trying to take all that data and make it real for us because the numbers didn't necessarily mean anything until we saw the charts and the, and the dashboards. So regardless of what field you're in, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data analytics, software development, it's not going anywhere. The more tools you have in your tool belt, the better. And I can't emphasize that enough. I just have to interject. Uh, Bank of America, cybersecurity and everything with AI, it's huge right now. That technology background Having a certificate like that would definitely bump someone up on the list for, for us looking at as far as hiring practices and skills. Absolutely. Well said, Dave. Yes, thank you. Yeah, can I also just say a side yeah. hustle, Brent? You know, there are a yeah. lot of small business owners out there and they're looking at websites and they're saying, how can I get that chat box on my website? How, how do I get, and for a person who has the skill to make a virtual chat bot, which is not hard to do, to go out and then say, hey, I, I can help. I can assist you with that as a, you know, just a potentially a consulting firm. I call it a side hustle. That's not professional, but a, a way of being a consultant, right? that's the way I, I look at these skills. If I can take somebody's data and present it for them in a way that's easy to understand, then that's, that's an employment opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Um, another question here. So um, the attendee is a senior and is looking to get back into work part-time. And the question, is this a reasonable expectation? So I'm trying to read behind the, between the lines here, reasonable expectation for that a senior would be able to complete this course and the skills and the technology um, and or maybe a reasonable expectation that this knowledge is used even part-time in the workforce. So I would say the senior would want to assess their own capabilities as far as reading, retaining, acting, and their, and their tech skills. And if those things are there, reading comprehension is great. The ability to navigate the computer, especially for those people who are saying they want to work, do this from home. To do this from home, you definitely want to have your tech skills uh, on par, right? Um, so I don't think it's a bridge too far for a senior citizen. I, 
you know, I think it's it's doable, but we would want to talk about your goals. How do you want to use this? You say part time. Is this something where you can help others? Is this something where, you know, of small business owners or local companies that want to hire? Or is this a hobby kind of thing? You know, is this something like me with the cricket that I still don't know how to use that cricket, by the way? But is, is it like that? Is it a hobbyist kind of endeavor? Because that's fine, too. We would want to assess the goals. And I'm more than happy to have conversations and meetings to make sure that nobody is getting in over their head. We can always take it a few steps back to digital literacy if we have to, and then build ourselves back up. Awesome, thank you. Um, Jamie, there is a question here um, asking, is this Bank of America's money management tool? So I'm assuming the better money habits, and I don't know if that differs from maybe other management tools if you're a Bank of America customer. That's exactly right. Yeah, the money management tools are if you're a Bank of America customer. And actually on the platform that I showed you as the logo at the top, Bank of America would take you there if you were. So if you were on your app or, or your online banking account, the money management tool is directly linked to, you know, it gives you this really cool pie chart of how much you're personally spending with the actual better money habits tool is completely separate. You do not have to be a customer or client of Bank of America. It is accessible to all Fantastic. Thank you. Um, Daisha, another question here um, regarding structure availability, eight to four. Um, they asked how many hours does the instructor actually teach? So is it fully online self-led and the instructor is this there to provide help, answer questions, or are there actual times where the instructor is actually teaching? That is a great question. This is fully online, fully self-paced, fully self-taught. But if you are stuck, the instructor is there to answer questions and guide and give practice and not let you stay stuck. If you find that you are stuck, you cannot stay stuck. It doesn't work like that in information technology. You got to reach out for help. So, we, you know, let's say it's me. I'm working here at State College of Florida on my lunch break. If I find myself that I'm stuck, then I'm hopping in Zoom from 12 to 1230 to tell the instructor, hey, it's Daesh. I'm here and I'm stuck on this particular area. And the instructor is there to give me guidance and feedback. So they don't teach, but they can facilitate and they can guide and they can help. Fantastic. Uh, Dish, another question asking what type of laptop is provided once they take their exam? That's a great question. You know, <laughs> we tried to go for the, the best we could within our budget. So it's a Dell laptop. It has at least four meg of RAM. It has at least 250 gig hard drive. It's either an i5 or an i7 uh, microprocessor. It's, it's a pretty decent laptop. I'm, I'm impressed with myself. Thank you, Bank of America. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, another question here, um, is there opportunity for felons once they finish the course? So maybe, I don't know if you can talk about uh, maybe if there's any sort of help with job placement or career placement after the course or what resources available either at Bank of America or at SCF. I am, I'm on the, no, on the edge of my seat because I got an organization in my head, but I can't think of what they're called, but they literally just reached out to me and said, Daesh, do you have any opportunities? And so those would be the kind of connections we want to make. We want to partner with our other community organizations that have those specialties. And Jamie, yeah, we work with Project 180. I don't know if that's, that's who you are. And unfortunately for Bank of America, we, we work with uh, people to help them get records more expunged through Project 180 and, and Career Edge has a lot of opportunities where there are job opportunities, some of the ones that I showed and that where the jobs that, that we do have employers that um, are happy to absolutely hire uh, a felon without having the records be expunged as a barrier. So there is definitely opportunity out there and happy to work with you, Daesh, to connect you uh, as well so that um, when people get these great opportunities for grant credentials that they do have a job opportunity afterwards. So I do want to reiterate this particular program is not necessarily for job placement. It is for skill development and it's for career exploration to really get a feel for if, not if, but what sector of information technology is for you. Because from here, you know, we just go up, we go, we go upwards from here, software developer, database administrator, data analytics, the 
it's a wide open market. I think the power platform fundamentals gives us that um, capability of knowing that we're ready to move forward. Now, if you're a person that already has these skills, you're like, this is too basic for me. We can still talk because I have some more advanced classes. Awesome, awesome. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and answer this. There's some questions here regarding how to sign up for the course. Um, I will let you know it was in Daisha's presentation, which will be sent to everyone who registered. I'll send an email with a recording. It'll be in that presentation, but we'll also provide the links, the direct link where you can go sign up for this course. Um, you can even go to scf.edu, go to courses or the coding academy section if you want to do it right now. But again, we will provide those links for everybody. Um, and then Dace, just to confirm as well, there were some questions if it was available for only women or if men can do it too. And I'm assuming it's open to anyone who's interested, correct? It's open to anyone who's interested. The laptops are for the ladies. Got it. Good to know. <laughs> Okay, yes. laptops for the ladies, I love it. <laughs> um, there's some questions here, Jamie, regarding um, you know, job opportunities at Bank of America in terms of sending resumes. And I know you touched a little bit about you know, opportunities and I wanna let the attendees know that I will be sending in that recap email, we will have a link directly to the careers page for Bank of America where you can view open jobs, submit applications and resumes. Um, and then um, there was also some questions around funding. Just to let everyone know this is not a grant that is awarded to you individually for this course. So you don't have to pay anything back. This is a grant from Bank of America directly to SCF to fund this program. So again, there's just that $50 registration fee. Um, you don't have to pay anything beyond that. Um, oh, then, Brent, yeah, can I, please. That, it also does cover the industry certification exam. Oh, that's so, great. You know, no, after they, they're taking the course with me, Coding Academy is paying for the industry certification. We're paying for practice exams. So the $50, covers it all. Yes, fantastic. That's great to know. Um, some other laptop questions here, which I'll just answer as well. Um, the laptops are provided after you take the exam. So not when you originally register for the course, it's after you take the exam. Now you don't have to necessarily have passed the exam, yes, but right. you take the exam after you go through this course and you receive your laptop. So I hope that answers everyone's questions regarding the laptop. Uh, but it's such a nice perk and bonus, right, to have the skills and knowledge, you kind of need the tools, which include the equipment. And if the, and if you don't have a laptop, that's just another reason why you might want to come on campus, because then you can just use the laptop that you're eventually going to take home with you at the end of the program. So fantastic, fantastic. Um, Daisha, another question regarding people who are unable to afford the $50 registration, how do they continue when they add to their cart? Does it ask for payment? How do they get past that? I'm going to give them the code. There's a code. Okay. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Um, so if you are struggling to pay, the you're going to email me or call me. Um, and my information is in that slide deck. You're going to email me, call me, and we're going to talk about it. And we're going to work through it. Perfect. So again, if you're struggling to pay, but really, really want to take this, you're going to reach out to Dish directly. Um, and again, her contact information will be in uh, the recap email that we will be sending. Um, Jamie, there is, I think, a very appropriate question for you, Bank of America, about our money habits. Um, we've got an attendee here that's, you know, been an RN for 30 years, is a little bit burnt out of nursing, has begun a master's program. Um, you know, needing computer skills, so some some, some cross here, um, but is also worried about, you know, a lot of student debt, um, you know, having two bachelor's degrees and a master's degree. Um, so maybe can you talk about how Bank of America and Bunny Men Better Money Habits can help with student loan debt? Absolutely. There's a great, uh, actually right in there, this speaks specifically to fund debt and and it really, I, some of the tools that I've learned while I'm watching through that program, and some of them just to pull out is they'll call them, see if there could be some 
you know, debt loan consolidations. Uh, a lot of times people don't think that by making that simple phone call and, and you know, you do get a human on the other side eventually uh, to be able to talk through your personal situation and see some of the things that they can do to help you, especially, you know, if you are still um, further in your education and have that debt to, to pay off as well. So I would say definitely check out the, the tool and, and go on there and, and see and, and listen to some of the things that they do. Um, and it is, I mean, definitely, you know, advancing your uh, education at the same time while having the debt definitely can be stressful, but hopefully it's something that you're visiting every day and writing it down. Um, I, I love some of the ways that they teach about paying off debt. Uh, those ones are great too. And just kind of understanding the, you know, the interest rate, the percentage of, of what ones you should tackle first and, and what they look like. And also, if you are currently in school, I, I don't know if you were, but uh, sometimes some of those things can get deferred or, or paying less than the minimum or, or whatever it may be. Again, usually you do get a human on the other side, but the Better Money Habits does have a, a program specifically for that that I would go ahead and, and check out. And hopefully that uh, they can help you as well. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jamie. Um, all right, we are at the end of all of our questions, which is perfect. We are at almost time here. So I do really, really want to thank um, our presenters, Daesh with SCF and Jamie with Bank of America. Um, and thank you everyone so much who tuned into this webinar. Again, you'll get all this information again in an email in 24 to 48 hours, all the links, contact information for our presenters, everything you need. Don't hesitate to reach out directly to the Women's Resource Center if you have questions. Um, we're here to help. And again, if everyone can stay on one extra minute, I really appreciate you taking that survey for us. And I hope everyone has a fantastic day. Thank you so much for your time. Bye, everyone.